Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf SOCOM Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing, actually we're going to be comparing the Recon MK2 with the Retaliator. Now this is a little bit long overdue because the Recon has actually been out for a little while now. Maybe a month or two months or something, but uh, there's been a little bit of debate on which one people would rather have, and I think we got to get down on some of the points of these two different guns. First I'm going to just do a few different pros on these. Uh, the Recon first here. Uh, actually, I have to do a uh, review on how it works. Basically both of them, the same thing. You load the magazine, you get six rounds. Uh, this one, you get 12 rounds here. You just load your magazine, make sure you have it facing forwards. Prime this back. You have a D-jam area right here, so if you have any darts. Both the same exact thing. Pull the trigger, works the same way. Neither of them have slam fire, and both of them have some clip locks, so you can't easily pull out the clip unless it's pulled back, which just gets annoying. Uh, and yeah, so you have to make sure this is pulled back when you uh, pull out the clip. So the same thing with both of them. Obviously you can mod the gun so it doesn't like do that anymore. But yeah, that's one thing. Um, for the pros, this gun has an extra railing on the side, which is kind of nice. Uh, I mean, you, railing attachments, the attachments that Nerf has, not all of them are that effective. They're not really that useful, but some of them like ammo attachments, you can have some extra ammo on your gun. That's pretty nice because you can easily put it on your gun and then in battle you can load your magazine with an ammo attachment. But this doesn't come with any ammo attachments. It just comes with a railing so you can hold more ammo or something, uh, which is, I guess is kind of cool. Um, plus, the railings on here are a little bit different. They have these little slots here, which are a little bit tighter. They're a little bit better than these ones here because they will hold attachments just a little bit stronger, which is nice, definitely nice, especially for like a, uh, a grip like the Retaliator has here because this can slip and it can be a little bit loose at times. Uh, this fixes that just a slight amount. It's not a huge difference though. Uh, for the cons of this, both of these, I'll just go for the cons for both of them, is that they both have clip locks. Uh, they both do not have slam fire, which is kind of annoying. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of the cons of these guns. For the pros of the Retaliator though, uh, this gun has a nice longer barrel on it. So some people think that the longer barrel will increase your accuracy. It may, it may not, it's a little bit debatable. I mean, the, rifle, the barrels are rifled, so uh, there's some twirls in there that might make you think it shoots a little bit more accurate. Maybe not, maybe so. But it does have a longer barrel nonetheless, plus it has two railings on it. And it does come with a grip, which is kind of nice. Although it does slide off every once in a while if you are a little bit too rough with it. But it is very comfortable. Plus, I need to mention one more thing. The, the pro about this one is that the stock is lowered here, which is kind of nice because you can easily raise up the gun to your eye so you can really aim well. You can be fairly accurate compared to this one where it's just a straight stock, which is not a bad thing, but it's a little bit lower, so you can, you'd want to tilt your head down a little bit more. So it's a little bit different stock-wise, which is, you know, it's, it's kind of a preference kind of a thing. I kind of prefer the stock on the Retaliator, but uh, some people might like this one better. And they're about the same exact length. The Retaliator stock might be just a tad bit longer though. So that is also a nice thing about the stock. So another con that I have for the Recon here is that it has a grip uh, like a grip guard here, which is a little bit annoying because I like to hold my gun sometimes with two hands on the grip. I mean, if you want to convert it to a pistol on the Retaliator, you can do that. You can hold it with two hands like this, which is pretty nice. However, with a re recon here, you can't do that. If you convert it to a pistol, take all the attachments off, you can, and it's, it's just a lot, it's uncomfortable because this thing is in the way, which is something that gets a little bit annoying. So that's something you're gonna wanna think about when you buy these guns, that this can get annoying if you have larger hands. If you're older, like I am, <laughs> then the grip guard can get a little bit annoying. Uh, yeah. So now we're gonna be doing a basic shooting test outside, kinda to show you the differences, if there is any difference in the ranges. Let's see there. So we're outside now, we have a 75 foot reel lined up, and we're shooting both these guns. Let's start out with the Retaliator here. It's already primed. I'm gonna pull off this for the last three shots. All right, now let's try the Recon MK2. We got white darts in this one, so you can easily tell the difference. Take off. Alright, so for the range of these guns, the, 
darts mostly landed from around 26 all the way to 40 feet. Uh, it's about the same thing with both of them. I think this one had a couple shots that were a little bit lower, but I may have been shooting just a slight little bit lower. They seem to have the both like the same effective range, going to be around 30 feet, maybe just a tiny bit less because they are used a little bit. Uh, I would say that the uh, retaliator here did seem like it had more accuracy, but overall they seem very similar. I mean, they're practically the same internals. It's, they're practically the same gun, so yeah. All right, so now that we've came back inside, you can see that the ranges are very similar. It's practically the same thing. They have practically the same internal, so it should be the same thing. Uh, like I was saying, the, the retaliator does have a longer barrel, so you could see better accuracy maybe, maybe less range, but it depends about the barrel. Um, but overall, the retaliator did seem to have a little bit more uh, accuracy than the recon did. Just a slight tad bit. It might just be because this one's used a little bit more than the retailer. This one's kind of out of the box actually. So that could be one part. To see which one wins, it's quite debatable. Uh, I actually personally like the retaliator a lot better. I'm just gonna say that off the bat because it does come with a nicer uh, barrel extension here. You have extra railings on it. It has a nice grip on it so you can hold the gun straight and farther out, which I guess is kind of nice. Normally I don't even use a grip though. I just hold the gun itself. With both of them, I would do the same thing, but some people do like the grip, and it looks kind of cool. Plus, the stock is nice. I feel like you can much, much more easily aim with this stock, and it's a little bit longer, which is something that I definitely like. Uh, although, like I was saying, it is debatable. Some it's debatable. Some people prefer different. Um, but yeah, overall, the Retaliator also it has six more rounds. You got 12 round magazine, while this one you only have a six round magazine. It's a big difference in battle when you have twice the amount of ammo, it can really, you know, help you out. So, practically, I would rather have the Retaliator. However, if you do have uh, extra magazines, if you have a couple 12 round magazines, maybe a 35 round drum already, you could get the Recon because then you'd have more ammo and you have an extra, extra stock from a different gun or something then I'd recommend getting this maybe. But because of just the solid standard of these two guns, I would get the retailer. But if you have a, a nicer stock, if you have a nicer uh, magazine and maybe some front attachments, you could get this. But then again, even the grip is a little bit different and I prefer the grip on the retailer because I can actually one hand it while the recon I can't. So yeah, thanks for watching Nerf Socom Reviews. That's my review on the recon and retailer. We'll see you guys next time.